scale the incredible offer not just to donate a kidney, but to give it to whoever needs it. Even the hospital was left questioning the sanity of the man who called with that proposition. But the family of the young boy who likely received the organ and will tonight meet the donor for the first time has no question about who brought him forward. With medical precision no 12-year-old should have to know, Jose Spivey hooks himself up to a home dialysis machine twice each day to make up for his failing kidneys. It's been two years. The cure, a transplant, was expected to be at least three more years away. But now that's all changed. I knew God sent him to us for a reason, because not too many people just give their kidney away. This is who has come to Jose's aid, Brad Barrows, a blind clerk typist for the State Department of Children and Families, a church organist from East Hartford. He called Hartford Hospital in February, offering a kidney. I really felt that it would simply be an act of love, even if that person never acknowledged it. And I knew that it would require a considerable amount of invasion of my body. But Hartford Hospital tried to explain the kidney from a living donor to someone he doesn't even know, not the way things are done. You have to ask, talk to the person and determine that are they sane. And Brad knew that right from the get-go. And to quote Brad, he says, I'm sane, I'm just peculiar. And I, I get a chuckle out of that because it is an unusual offer and uh, he's an unusual gentleman. Brad also a near-perfect match for Jose. He's probably a really nice man. And he must really like kids. When the hospital first suggested Brad be Jose's big brother instead, he said he'll do that too. We hope that they'll become lifelong friends, that Brad will have an impact on his self-esteem, on his academic achievement. We just want to say thank you to Brad for donating his kidney to my son, and hopefully he will get better. Yeah, because it's been a long two years, very long two years. Now, at this hour, through Big Brothers Big Sisters, Jose is coming face to face for the first time with a man who'll likely save his life. If all does go well, the operation should be performed sometime in July. Folks, back to you. Brian Garnett in our newsroom tonight.